Let's go rolling. Okay. Today we are going to talk about for the much time we've got. We're going to talk about. I, if you guys don't know this about me, I am a gigantic Ghostbusters fan. I have upstairs a huge shrine to Ghostbusters. You're a Ghostbusters fan. Take this. Please don't touch my hundred dollar one. By this, my $100 Spanglers Neutrona one, based off of the Neutrona one that's going to appear in the new Ghostbusters movie, Ghostbusters Afterlife. And I was excited to find these Stay Puff Marshmallows with instructions for s'mores. These I am so excited to find. Read the slogan. Stay puffed even when toasted, if you can see that. Perfectly good. For camping, s'mores, you know, stuff like that. Also, if you guys are Ghostbusters fans, you must have also seen the Ghostbusters apps like mini pod trailers, which is also why we have these. Oh, oh, by the way, we're testing out a new tripod that we got. So, yeah. so now we don't have any shaking camera. Which and no, like, <laughs> yeah. noise. So, that's why we also got these. Yeah, the same great case and mini puff size. So, I bought two of them mostly for display purposes, but I did buy a bag to eat with. Now, as you can see, half this bag is already gone just because of the <laughs> carousel taking down marshmallows. Want one? Here. I want to go on camera, but let me go get a mask. Yeah. A whole face mask. I don't need to worry. He's vaccinated, fully vaccinated. Oh, you want a face mask? Face mask? No, a mask to cover my entire face. Okay. I don't have to worry about wearing a mask around him since he's vaccinated. Just go. Stay here. I'll go grab you one. I know where a full face mask is. Uh huh. Talk about the marshmallows. So yeah, these... Most people want these because of, you know, the packaging. They're just regular marshmallows. Campfire marshmallows you'd find by the packaging. Obviously, stay puffed. I'm not the biggest Ghostbusters fan, so I don't really know... I know what stay puffed is. Or who stay puffed is. But, oop. Yeah, I... I think it's pretty cool, even though I'm not the biggest Ghostbusters fan. Let's look at the mini puffs. Mini Stay Puff marshmallows. They're all mini. I think you could find these in the. I think you could find these in the trailer, all this running around. Always a baking favorite. This actually might fit you because it actually looks like a robot. Well, it's Ant Man, but. Of course. What the calls? Come on, camera. Go ahead. It should be catching you. This is Brent Bot 64, my friend. Hi, real. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just for the cameras you in. Ow. <laughs> what? It doesn't have any, like, very thin layer of protection. Alright, here. I don't think I'm just going to stay down here. You want to be on camera. You hit my face. Sorry. Here. Come on. Alright, there we go. Give me a marshmallow. You okay? There you go. Squeeze. I'll block the camera so you don't see. <laughs> Very puffy, which I guess makes sense for me. Mm. Mm. Now, of course, it just tastes like a marshmallow. Have you ever eaten a marshmallow? It tastes like a marshmallow. Like I said, most people, most customers are fans buy this for the packaging. For the packaging, like to keep on display. Yeah, so if these do eventually harden, eventually like that. Like just make sure, make sure they're flattened enough so where all the monsters is fine. Nothing's like jagging out because these eventually will harden over years. But you keep them in like a flattened space, and when they do get very, very hard, 
they'll just be like a brick essentially. You can send them up over anywhere. But these are good marshmallows. These are by Campfire Marshmallows, which I'm guessing maybe the. This is a marshmallow too. It's a pickle. Shut up. That's a, that's a pickle. But um, I'm guessing maybe the team went with what Campfire about because this of this marshmallow flavored marshmallow. Hey. That's white mystery, which marshmallows are white. Well, that doesn't mean it's a white mystery. If it was white mystery, it wouldn't taste like a marshmallow because the marshmallows are very distinct, very squishy, squished. See there. Hand me another one. Hand me another one. I'm not eating it on camera this time. This is kind of a boring review since we're just basically reviewing marshmallows, but, but screw it, deal with it. I guess we could also do a review on the internal one, which uh -huh. I got about like three months ago. And uh, I have to tell you, first time I turned it on, I was crying. I wasn't, but I wanted to. Because ever since I saw Ghostbusters as a kid, it's been with me my entire life. It's not, I'm not, I'm not like a, a super gigantic ghost head to the point where like, any, any movie I watch is Ghostbusters or everything, I like view about as Ghostbusters. Not to that level, but definitely when anything new Ghostbusters, like movie or anything like that comes out. Hey. And it's funny. Don't hit my face again, or I will murder you. Alright, that's a very nice way to go with YouTube's terms of service. So, okay, first, let's show you how to turn it on. First, you... That's the one thing I like about this thing. If you go up out of order... It just doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. Even if you do this, it still doesn't work. You have to do it in specific order, which makes it feel more true to the actual first, thing. First, you have to click this switch right here. The bomb switch. Make sure this is in view. Yeah. Bomb switch. Top switch. Top switch, that brings up the lights and everything. And then the switch then right below the activate button. Next, you click this, you flick this green lever to extend the wand. And all you have to do is choose what you want to do by you pressing the orange button. Classic proton stream. Yeah, I'm click it again, there's slime. Slime blower. Click again, stasis stream. Second time, meson collider. Take a shotgun. Now, show them the button you press to actually activate it. Now, the thing with this, if you guys have played the Ghostbusters video game, if you are Ghostbusters fans, that is definitely references to the Ghostbusters video game. The stasis stream, the slime blower, and the meson collider. Now, I don't know, this is based off of this one that's coming in Afterlife. So, either that's just a little Easter egg for specifically this product, or we are actually are going to see, like, the video game, like, like stuff in the new movie. The City Street, the Mizan Clan, and the Slam Blower. The video game of Ghostbusters is confirmed, is confirmed canon by Dan Aykroyd, which essentially is the third movie. <laughs> Sorry, I powered off. That's one thing I also want to show you guys. Now, yes, you just want to press... This orange button to the tip of the neutrona wand. Switch it. There'll be a little light effect up here. And now, here's the thing. You'll come up here to this area, if you can see the little lights here. You turn it. Turn it clockwise. And it goes up. Turns up all the way to the power. You hold it like that. If you hold it for a long time, it doesn't have to be on specifically the highest power. But after a while of um, shooting it, it will eventually just shut off. You'll see it here. Another thing, if you leave it on for too long. Yes, like what was happening there when I just flipped up the one switch. If we literally just... Leave it on for too long, it will power down. Yes, if we just... So yeah, turn, turn it clockwise, the power goes up. Turn it counterclockwise, the power goes down. Right. Now again, if you just leave it off, um, on. Well, if, yeah, if you leave it on, it will eventually just like if you leave it idle for a while, which doesn't feel very accurate to me. I understand why they do it it's for like power consumption kind of purposes, but in, like the video game stuff, you're you're always running around with the proton pack always on, and you're not always running to ghosts. Hold on. So it's give me a shot glass of water. You, you use both the shot. Oh, I guess I need that one. Shot glass of water, yeah. not alcohol. We're not drinking alcohol. Just to say that. We're just using shot glasses because it's fun. As there you go. There you can see. All right, give me that shot glass right there. 
fill it with water. Let it drop. Let it drop. Wow. This has mostly just been kind of a review because I haven't posted anything in a while on the channel. And like I said before in like my other video, I haven't come up exactly with what my channel is going to be. It's mostly just been like random like crap, random review stuff like that. I like last some, time I cock and bowl ginger beer review. Yeah, which uh, again, like, it's not great. But mm. I, I love it. It kind of has that taste. It, it's like it doesn't taste good at first, but it just kind of draws you back somehow. Mm -hmm. Like. It doesn't taste good, but I want to take another sip. It's one of those like stuff that's just like it's like mmm, 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 mmm. Actually, it's not that to me. It's a good taste. It draws me back because I like it. Yeah, but for me, it's just kind of a weird taste. I mean, it draws me back in, but after like a many times, it's just like eh, kind of thing. Also, uh, if you're wondering why I'm wearing this, it's just cold in my house. Alright, nothing to look flashy. Obviously. Yeah. But, uh, would you like to learn marshmallow? Have a lens. <laughs> that was like, you can put, like, if this is, if only this was cut out, like, a little space in between, you can easily just feel like a marshmallow. Also, does anybody else think that kind of looks like a combine soldier mask? Is it just me? Doesn't it kind of look like a combine soldier? Like Half Life Two, uh, that's just me. But yes, we. Are, this is basically just a slight overview of the packaging. It definitely does look like packaging, and this is slight. This is based off of the packaging you will see in the After Life films of the marshmallows. All right. Um, just with a few little differences, like in the packaging, like the net, like watt ten ounces thing like that. Like usually there's like a white outline in the trailer. But on that, like, it's pretty faithful. Like, also, it's just, like, it's just cool to walk in and just see this on your counter. It really feels like, like, you're in the world of Ghostbusters and you just come back from the store just like, oh, we'll get some marshmallows. Like, what type? Stay Puft, obviously. It's the most popular brand. It just kind of feels like you're in the world when you have, like, like these things in your corner. Everybody has, like, like a bag of, like, marshmallows. Hey, I feel hey. Like... I have a joke for you. What? This joke is from my, the fourth installment of my... Oh, well, I first heard it from the fourth installment of my favorite video game franchise. Just Cause? No, Uncharted. Oh, they're basically the same. Alright, let me... So, the pirate walks into the bar. Okay. And he, he's got a st steering wheel sticking out of his, you know... Crotch? Yeah, crotch, yeah, yeah. I'm just afraid of YouTube. In the freaking FCC. Yeah. I think the FCC is only for TV. Yeah. And, and, the, and the bartender says, Hey man, what's with the wheel? And, and the pirate says, Arr, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> very similar to Freddy Companion. <laughs> yeah, my, my, um, my favorite character, uh, second favorite character, Sam. Uh, Nathan Drake's brother. My favorite character is Sully, but Sam, he said, he said that, well, in Madagascar. You were going up a volcano to hunt for a treasure. I might try and turn it, it just doesn't really seem like a game. It just feels like two mayor, just weirder. That's one. But, so, yes. Is that it? That's about it. I, I mean, you, I, I'll, I know you guys can't comment because, you know, it's just because I'm a child. If I want comments on it, I could say like these like, bills are age restricted, but that makes no sense to do because. Well, it's, it's not intended for kids. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say like, oh, it's not intended for kids. I mean, like. Nothing we say. My here. videos, I play Call of Duty, which is not intended for kids. True. Well, for some kids, I mean, I mean, we grew up. I mean, I got GTA when I was like seven, or like, actually no, ten. For my tenth birthday, for my tenth birthday, I got GTA Five and Deadpool the game. No. Which, my parents are. I mean, you may say, oh, your parents are careless. They're not. They're very caring. They care what, what's like what. Things. I mean, there's some still some movies that are like technically R A, and they're like no way, like stuff like that. Like The Conjuring. I'm not to watch that. It's like it's only R rated because it's a horror movie. I, I got the feeling that yeah, cinema, like cinema. what you said. Why are we talking about this? <laughs> I don't know. Right, yeah. So yeah, that'll be the end of the video. Yeah, I mean, I'll try to think of more like common stuff to do. I, I was planning on eventually doing this like a Ghostbusters channel. Don't turn off the camera, man. 
I'm planning on maybe doing this more like a Ghostbusters oriented channel. I just don't have the money to do a lot of stuff. Although, I, I would rather keep this a channel, just random, <laughs> random videos. Okay. Also, if you guys do want this, it is a. It used to just be a hundred dollars. I think now it's upping its price range, which is why I got it. Like I had like around like hundred dollars. I was like, I want to save it for something. I realized like how much I would enjoy having this like on my shelf, like I do now, and stuff like that. Um, if you do have the money for it, and you are a true Ghostbusters fan, and you have like enough money just for it, get it. You will not regret it. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you. We'll see you later. Subscribe to my channel, Friendbot64. Goodbye.